Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you guys how I make a step down panel for a three stage wire pearl paint job. I'm going to show you how I make the step down panel. I'm going to show you how to check the color on it and I'm going to show you how I spray it to make sure everything matches properly, the color and the pearls and everything looks like a professional paint job. So let's get started. Okay, so what I have on this job is I have to blend this door. I'm going to blend this post right here. I have a front bumper and I have a fender. That's a new fender and a new front bumper. Now as you can tell, I'm not blending anything else on this car. Now the reason I'm not blending anything else, like let's say like the hood or maybe the fender on the other side because I have a new fender and a new bumper. Typically, in most cases, that would get blended, the hood would get blended and the fender because of the new parts that I have. But because of the system that I use for checking colors, I'm already sure that I don't have to do any of these blends. It saves me time, saves me material, and it saves money. So this is one of the reasons why I wanna show you guys the way that I use the system that I use for making spray out panels. Now, I did make a full video on how to make spray out panels, store them away, check your colors, label them, all that stuff. I have a video that I made just how I store everything and how I keep everything in order. That way when I have cars like this, it saves me a lot of time, aggravation, energy, and stress when I can just save time and just do a blend on a door and on a post because I know that my color is gonna match. So this is why I wanna show you guys the way I do this. So let's get started. I'm going to, I already have sealant on my new parts. They all covered up sealant. So right here on my panel, I didn't put a coat of sealant on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat of sealant on here just like I did on my bumper and on my fender. That's because I wanna make sure everything matches the same. All right, I got a coat of sealant on here. Okay, I got my paint in my gun, and I got my panel here. I'm gonna put two coats on my panel, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start covering the parts and start putting some color on the door where I'm blending. Now what I'm doing is I'm blow dry. Now what I'm doing here is I'm blow drying a little bit with the gun, with air. That way, I can dry up the paint and make sure I get two coats on here and not just one very wet coat. All right, two coats. Okay, so now I got two coats on all my parts and I got two coats starting to blend on my door and there's two coats also on my pan. Now the next step is the same thing, just repeated steps. So the next step I'm going to take is I'm going to put two more coats on my panel and then go over and put two more coats on all my parts and finish out my blend over here. Now. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I have a video on how I cover, how I get these panels done and I store them away and I organize everything and I do a lot of stuff to make sure that I can check these colors properly. And I have a link, I'll put it right here for you guys to check it out. I'll, and I also have a video on how I paint white pearls, whole video that covers that, how I blend it, how I paint it. But you should guys should go check that video out as well. And I'll link it right here as well for you guys to check that out. Now I'm going to continue. Okay, so two more coats on the panel and then two more coats on the parts and on my blend door. Okay, so I'm done covering my white. Now the next step to making this panel is going to be we have to cover it with a piece of paper. Now the reason we cover it with a piece of paper is because we want to make step downs from the pearl that we're going to apply to this panel. 
That way we can check and see how many coats of pearls, the appropriate coats to make sure that you get the proper color match when painting three stage pearl cards. So let me show you how I do it. So I have a piece of paper here that has tape on it that, you know, I have a tape up machine that applies the paper on it. But if you don't have that, just get some tape, put it on a piece of paper and cover your panel the same way I'm gonna do it now. So I start from the top. So I'm gonna put my piece of paper here and I use, I use the three holes on the paper to tell me where I'm gonna put the piece of paper. That way I have three different sections of pearl. So I'm gonna start on the top and I'm gonna put one coat of pearl on the top right here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply one coat of pearl. Dry it up the same way I dry it. And I'm gonna hit it with air to start drying it up so that I can move down with the paper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to remove the paper from here. Now I have one coat of pearl up here, right? So I'm gonna remove it from here. I'm gonna move it down a section like this. So like I said before, I'm using the holes to tell me where I'm putting the paper and I'm going in between halfway in between each hole to make a different section now you can tell already how the pearl looks on there it looks pretty nice see that so now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it between these two holes see that so now when I apply my second coat of pearl the top is gonna have two coats and the middle is going to have one coat. Air dry for like a minute. Now, the last step is just going to I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the paper completely. Okay. Now I have the paper completely removed. Now, let's go over this. Now the top has two coats of pearl, the middle has one coat of pearl, the bottom has none right now. So now when I put my last coat of pearl, what's going to happen is I'm going to have three coats, two coats here in the middle, and one coat on the bottom. That is a proper step down panel. I have three coats, two, and one. That way we can check our color to make sure we have the proper amount of pearl on our paint job. See that? That's three. Now trust me, if the camera doesn't pick it up, you will see it when you check your color. And since we use the paper, there's a line between each coat of pearl. So you'll know which one has one, two, and three. The middle always ends up having two, and the top has three. So that's how you want your panel to be when you're checking a three-stage pearl. Now, I'm going to continue on to put pearl on my car and then clear. And I'm going to clear this panel and then we're going to check the color. So, I would be making this panel first before I would start painting the car just to make sure that I know my color matches. That's the way you want to do it when you don't know if your color matches. You always want to make the panel first before you start spraying the car. That way you check to make sure what matches and what don't. That way you know what you have to blend. So let's break clear on this, let's check it, and then we'll keep going. When you're making a panel, always spray clear on it. Don't think that by spraying it with wax and grease remover, you're gonna get the appropriate color match. Always spray clear on it. Okay, so to check the color, I have a new fender, I'm going to check my hood, I have a new bumper, and I'm going to check that fender over there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to butt this right up against the hood, just to make sure that it matches properly. So this is, what, this is the way I do it. I put it right here, and I check it. And I check and see which amount of pearl matches the original color that's on the car right now. So I put it against here. If it looks good, I choose the amount of pearl. In this case, the amount of pearl 
is two codes. Generally speaking, it's almost always going to be two codes, but you never want to be too safe. You always want to make sure that you get the proper amount of pearls on your car. Now, I'm going to go check it on the fender as well because we have a new bumper. So that's what we do. The way we check it is whatever panel is getting 100% covered in the new color, every panel that butts up next to it has to get blended or the color has to match properly. That's just how it is. Now, I'm gonna try to get you guys in here because I got the car basically almost right up against the wall. <laughs> so, like right here, on this edge where the bumper's gonna butt up against the fender, I'm gonna put the panel here as well to check the color. And that's how I'm gonna know whether or not I have to blend or don't blend. In this case, I already checked it. Like I said before, I don't have to blend it, so I'm good, right? But that's because I made this panel and I already had it to check it. Okay, okay, something I wanna share with you guys. When you're checking a color, especially on white, pearl white, any kind of white that you're checking, always make sure to clean it very well before you check the color. Because white gets very gritty. It gets yellow over time, stuff gets stuck to it, and when you're checking the color, if you don't clean it off properly, you're not gonna get the proper color match when you check your panel. You're gonna think it doesn't match because there's a lot of gritty stuff that gets stuck to white. It gets really gritty and yellowy and gross. And it's best way to check it to make sure 100% your color's gonna match. Wipe it with thinner first. I always have thinner in these little bottles. So. I'm going to wipe it with thinner first. Now, I already did this, so mine is clean because I checked the color already. So, I wipe it with thinner first to clean it off. Now, if it's really, really dirty and it has like a lot of dirt and it's just very dirty, wipe it with some water and some soap and water. Wipe it off first. Once you've wiped it off with soap and water and you dried it up, then wipe it with thinner. Then, once you wipe it with thinner, get some compound. Rub some compound on it to rub off some of the stuff that's on the top layer that might be stuck to it. Doing it by hand is good enough. You don't have to do it with the machine. You can just do it by hand. You want to bring up the proper color by doing this. That's why we wipe it with compound. Once you wipe it with compound and you've cleaned it up real good, then you're going to get the accurate color that you need to make sure that you're matching your color properly. Now, remember, if the color doesn't match that you sprayed, you have to look for a alternate color to make sure that you get the proper color. If this doesn't match, you have to find another color. There's got to be different variants to each color. And if this variant doesn't match, you're gonna have to make another spray out with another variant to make sure your color matches properly. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of steps, but once you're done and the color looks proper and your job looks professional, you'll be very happy, very happy. Because when it doesn't come out right, you're not gonna be happy and you're gonna be upset. And if this is somebody's car and this is a client's car, you can possibly lose a customer like that. So make sure you do these steps the way I'm showing it to you. Now, now that we have our panel, I already know everything is ready to go. Color's good. I'm gonna spray clear on this thing and be done because I have more work to do. <laughs>
So guys, I hope all these tips are helpful. I hope these videos are helpful to you. If they are, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.